Hey, y'all, and welcome back to school. I hope y'all had a wonderful weekend and enjoyed Martin Luther King Day off. Well, today we're going to continue talking about Martin Luther King, and guess what? Mr. Yates is going to show us. He going to show us how to juggle, and we going to y'all get your uh, plastic bags ready, or you can use uh, scarves, or you can use tissues or napkins if you got napkins. Get ready. And guess what? Miss Wilmoth is going to read us another story. So y'all get ready. We going to have a good time. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hey. Let's get it. <laughs> our voice first okay this time all you have to do is copy what the leader says let's try it yeah 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 words of Dr. Martin Luther King's speech that he did on the during the March on Washington. So the last words say, free at last, free at last. Thank God Almighty, we're free at last. You may want to listen to it and play it again so that you can learn the words. It's a very simple song. Try and sing it. Free at last, free at last. Thank God Almighty, I'm free at last. Free at last, free at last, thank God Almighty, I'm free at last. Surely been buked and surely been scorned, thank God Almighty, I'm free at last. But still my soul is a heaven born, thank God Almighty, I'm free at last. Free at last, free at last, thank God Almighty, I'm free at last. Free at last, free at last, thank God Almighty, I'm free at last. Free at last, free at last, thank God Almighty, I'm free at last. 
Free at last, free at last. Thank God Almighty, I'm free at last. All right, y'all. Good job. If you did good. Give yourself a pat on the back. If you sang along, you can always rewind it and try it again. And if you didn't do so good, give yourself a, I'll do better next time. <laughs> Love y'all. stretches and get ready for our activities. All right, so first things first, legs, shoulder width apart, hands to the ground, count to 10. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And remember, five claps. You're okay, Mr. Dippy. Arms out, big circles forward. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job, Mr. Jimmy. Good job, Miss Wilkins. All right, back up. Backwards. One, One two, two, three, four, four five, six, six, seven, eight, eight nine, ten. ten. Good job. All right, hands in the small of your back. Push your hands, stick your belly out, get a big old belly out there. Look up at the sky, count to ten. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. All right, last but not least. That's, you, I know y'all said jumping jacks. Jump I was waiting for them. Jumping jacks. Are you ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And this, boys and girls, is why I need you to always stay active so you don't quit after three jumping jacks. I love y'all. I'll see y'all in a second. Okay, boys and girls, I need you to go grab three Kroger bags, three scarves, three tissues, and hurry up and come back. We'll wait. Or you could use some napkins. Y'all read it? <laughs> okay, so take one of those, one of your hankies, your tissues, your scarves, your tissues, your, your paper towels. Stick it in your pocket because you don't need it right now. We're going to start with two. Okay? One in each hand. I want you to take your finger, your middle finger, and your thumb, and I want you to pinch it. Do that with both hands. That's how we're going to start off. Both of them are pinched, okay? Good job. Now, we're going to make an X across our body. So we're going to go this way and toss the scarf. Then we're going to go this way and toss the scarf. And then we're going to go catch and catch. So, watch me. You ready? So we're going to go up, up, catch, and catch. See how I went across my body, boys and girls? All right, I'll do that again for you. You ready? Watch. Remember, pinch it. We're going to go up. Up, catch, catch. Ready? Here we go. Up, up, catch, catch. <laughs> You're gonna drop them just like Mr. Jimmy, it's okay. So once again, we're gonna pause for a second. I want y'all to practice, okay? Go, practice. Practice, practice, everybody, practice. Up, up, catch, catch. Up, up, catch, catch. All right, boys and girls, are you ready? Ready, Mr. Jimmy? Ready, Mr. Okay, so just one more time we're gonna practice. We're gonna go catch, catch, or up, up, catch, catch. Okay, just like this. Good. All right. Now the fun part. Get your third one. We're not gonna juggle yet. Now we're gonna try to do something. Remember, we're gonna pinch them. This helps us let go of the third scarf. Ready? Okay, so again, we're gonna go up, up, Catch, catch. Okay, but now we got the third one, so we're gonna go up, up, catch, catch, toss again. This time you wanna catch the third one on your head. Okay, so you're gonna go up, up, catch, catch, toss, and try to get it on your head. I'll show you again. Okay, got it. I'm gonna try. 
Okay. And you put this, the two in the most dominant hand that you have. So if you're right-handed like Coach Yates, I have two in one hand, one in the left hand. If you're left-handed, you're going to be the other way around. Okay? All right. So here we go. Let's try it again. Remember, toss, toss, catch, catch, toss, land on your head. I know it's difficult. That's why I give you time to practice. All right? You ready? So go up, up, toss, toss, and then on your head. All right, y'all. We're going to pause for a second. Keep practicing. I want to see it. I'll try it. Instead of catching on our head, we're going to see, make sure we can keep them up in the air. So we're just going to keep going back and forth. Toss, toss, catch, catch, toss, toss, catch, catch. You ready? You ready? All right, let's go. Oh, oh look, Mr. Yuka got caught on his finger. All right, let's try again. Here we go. Oh, oh my. I'm going to play music while you're doing that, and they can all do it with you while we listen to some music. All right, let's get some Mr. Demi, get some music up. Remember, if you mess up, it's okay. Practice makes perfect. Keep trying. Okay, remember, we'll start with pinching. See how long you can go. Keep your eyes up and look for that scarf. Keep going. All right, yo. So y'all keep practicing and you'll get it. And then you can go faster. Oh, look, even Mr. H drops one. I hope y'all enjoyed this lesson. I love y'all. Be awesome. <laughs>
will be able to work together, to pray together, to struggle together, to go to jail together, to stand up for freedom together, knowing that we will be free one day. This will be the day when all of God's children will be able to sing with new meaning. My country, tis of thee, sweet land of liberty, of thee I sing. Land where my fathers died, land of the pilgrim's pride, from every mountainside, let freedom ring. And if America is going to, is, is to be a great nation, this must become true. So let freedom ring from the prodigious hilltops of New Hampshire. Let freedom ring from the mighty mountains of New York. Let freedom ring from the heightening Alleghenies of Pennsylvania. Let freedom ring from the snow-capped Rockies of Colorado. Let freedom ring from the curvaceous slopes of California. But not only that, let freedom ring from Stone Mountain of Georgia. Let freedom ring from Lookout Mountain of Tennessee. Let freedom ring from every hill and molehill of Mississippi. From every mountaintop, let freedom ring. And when this happens, when we allow freedom to ring, when we let it ring from every village and every hamlet, from every state and every city, we will be able to speed up that day when all of God's children, black men and white men, Jews and Gentiles, Protestants and Catholics, will be able to join hands and sing in the words of the old Negro spiritual. Free at last, free at last, thank God Almighty, we are free at last. I hope you enjoyed our words of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. today, and I hope you think about all that he wanted for us to be and how we can be great citizens and have a character that counts, just like Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Have a great day! Y'all get ready for listen and imagine. So you gonna need some crayons and pencils and a piece of paper. Go get it and come on back. Get ready. All right, boys and girls, what we gonna do first, I'm gonna play a song and I want you to close your eyes and listen to that song. And as you listen, what picture pops into your mind? Just like if this was a movie and this was a soundtrack to a movie, what kind of movie would it be? Or if it was a video game, what kind of video game would it be? And that's what I want you to drop. So ready, get ready, listen to the music, close your eyes and listen. in your mind, start drawing. You can start drawing. I'm gonna draw mine now.
and girls, take the time to pause the video and finish your picture. I know it'll be good. I can't wait to see what they look okay, like. Okay, boys and girls, as I listened to the song, what I heard was a beautiful orchestra or symphony or concert going on at night, because I thought it was very peaceful, very pretty, very serene. That's what I saw. Hope we can't wait to see what y'all drew. All right, boys and girls, when I was listening, I heard in my head the picture I saw was two people going on an adventure in the mountains and just enjoying the fresh air, and it was very peaceful and calm. I can't wait to see what you all have drawn. They pictures better than mine, y'all, but I'm, I tried my best. I thought uh, somebody trying to chase butterflies and then somebody fishing, they was just outside having a good fun time. And you can do that too. All right, we'll see y'all later. The song we just listened to was by an African-American composer, William Grant Steele. And it's called the Afro-American Symphony Number no. 3, Animato. So if you wanna look it up, you can. <laughs> Y'all, we hope y'all had fun today. Bye, y'all. See you later. See y'all. <laughs>